Welcome to our today's session, logging and the exception handling with Serilog in ASCV.net or Web API. Our today agenda, why we need logging and exception handling, creating a new .NET Core 6 project, project structure and the required files, project setting, testing the application using Swagger, output sample like the log files using Serilog. We used it here, Serilog as is a logging provider. Introduction. Logging is a critical feature in development that allows the software developers, product owner to troubleshooting application errors. So the main usage for logging here to troubleshoot the application errors. Why? Exception handling is the process of handling unexpected event during the running of application to avoid crashes. So exception handling, we use it to avoid crashes. Okay, let's start creating a new project. We will insert the project name logging with serial using .NET Core 6 project structure and required files. First, we created the model student. Then we created controller, launch setting, exception handling middleware, custom setting and custom extension, application setting and the program.cs. We can move for the real project here. First, I created the model controller exception handling. As you can see, extension and the configuration as well. Okay, let's return back to the PowerPoint. Our model is about the student. So we capture the name of the student and type string, the duration year, integer, the string address is optional as well, first date as date type. Controller. To start working with logging, we must create an interface and the interface of type of the controller class and create an object of this called it logger inject is in the con constructor of the controller student. So first of all, to reuse and work with serilog, you must create the interface adding the type the class which you called student controller here i will make highlighting for you we are working with a student controller so we must add here in the iLogger interface the student controller create an object called it logger then we make here concept of design pattern called it dependency injection or inject the object while in the construct for the class student controller this dot logger equal logger then we used it a basic http request from type get to get a student i asked him please return to me a student what i made i created response that Return address graduation year name and I logged it here inside the log file I created and the response of the endpoint. So I must run this application using a swagger and the press get a student, find the file have the response of address equal taxes usa graduation year and name adam okay so i will highlight some useful line of code first you must create the object from the interface i logger second you need to make dependency injection in the constructor and third you need to reuse the object itself here okay let's move for the next feature okay i created a project middleware that will handle all exception handling how i created it i created a middleware exception handling class are created a request delegate i logger and i give it the i logger the exception handler middleware and i make a dependency injection in the constructor as well as we said before we created the task invoke and we passed it for the http context so we have showed the steps before like this like this step how to use serilog how to use the logging feature for any system or service you will create an object from the interface adding the class name dependency injection injecting the constructors then you are ready to use the logger here we created the function called it handle exception and the exception how it's log the exception itself exception to, to string exception error exception message exception response content type data school and so on so when there is any exception happening in the application i must open and file and i can find all details that describe the exception okay we can move for the next step we are using those.net core not a traditional .net projects so we have application setting file not web config here in .net core we are working with application setting in application setting you must provide some attributes first attribute logging logging the information as a default you must here as well setting the configuration for the siri log as well the siri log from log context with machine with browser id with thread id and you must create the file itself that will hold the log like the bus that you can find the logs here bus date time and the timestamp when the log is created okay the size of the file limitation and so on so here in the application setting you can insert 
consider all configuration about your logging using Serilog. We will move for the next step, okay? Project configuration. In the project configuration, you must add the configuration for our system about the logging, reading the log from which configuration, try to custom setting the context of the logging. You must add the builder for the logging, uh, the builder for logging tool, and add your Serilog and add the object for local, okay? You must add as well controller, you must add here a controller, okay? And you must configure the service end well and the endpoints. You must add a Swagger service. As you can see here, we are we are here using Swagger, using middleware, which we created for exception handling, authorization, map controller, and then the application running. If you want to add a custom serial log setting, not a general, but custom, like when you face a, a log for the event of debug, uh, make a console color green. When you want to, to log an information, make a console color blue. When you want to log even type error, make a console color red and so on. This is called the custom serial log setting and I add to my project as well. Finally, we started to run our application and Swagger executing the HTTP get for the student model. We found a lot of features. First, a folder, this folder, this folder holds all of the log for the application. Folder consists of a set of text file, any text file dot with extension log. It has a name and date, the date of created, the creation date, timestamp. Have you opened one file for exception you will find all details that describe the action the exceptions that happening during our application like this you can find a keyword exception like this exception handler like this error in invoking like this the line of code which case an exception like this a student controller exception okay from here the developers and the product owner detect the errors in the application like in this line and they move to modify then republish the application okay we can move now for the logging we made a logging for the result of the model so we find in the text file here birth date name adam graduation year and the address okay let's start our visual studio to test the full cycle together first i created the student model second i created the controller i added for the controller two test cases first test case to throw an exception to test the exception handler middleware and second i created a response of type student has address graduation year name and i may and the logger to the log the response itself so the the file and the log file must contain this object and when i recommend the steps I must find the middleware exception handler. So we can start our application. Application setting, as I said to you, boss for the log, timestamp, application configuration, using authorization, use middleware, use swagger, logger. So in this file, you must add your configuration for the application. Let's start executing the app. Okay, we started here. Application is loading, service is running. Okay, Swagger is open, HTTP, I will send them, try it out, try it out like execute, the HTTP request of type get, we know there are a lot of HTTP requests like get, boot, post, delete, but we are using here get to retrieve the model student, okay, execute, okay, the result is birth date, name, graduation year, okay, let's check, can our application log this information, we open this pass, we sort, get modify, the last item is Added. is this no is not this okay sort again the last added one this one okay i found here that the log created for me using serial log first the date and the timestamp second the data model or the model for the student we have retrieved here so we can compare the results here the result of a swagger and the result of our logger using serial log okay we will test the next feature first we will stop swagger we will return it back to student controller. We will uncomment this step. What I mean, I told him if one not equal to, but it is must to achieve true. Okay, someone can tell me you can write true. Yes, you can make something like if one not equal to, please throw an exception. You can say please if, if true is true, throw an exception. There are a lot of things to test and throwing an exception directly. So we need here all details about the exception. As we said, exception handler 
will log in your file all details all information about the exception so i told him if true equal true if one not equal to any fact please throw for me an exception so we will retest again okay we must have found new created log file for this exception this exception handler is creating using the middleware okay student execute execute it he will find an exception right excellent continue continue okay he told me filled to retrieve data yes as i threw an exception we return back we have ended our today session and i hope if you have any questions send us sign up for startup hack and start learning with us thank you